Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about relative extrema. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals x to the third power minus 6x squared plus 9x plus 1, and we want to find the points of relative minimum and maximum here. Now the first thing I want to do is find the first derivative. So, use our power rule, f prime of x here. 3 comes down, 3x squared, minus 2 times 6 is that 12x, and then we just have the plus 9. Hopefully you're pretty good at doing the power rule now. From here, we want to take the first derivative test, and so we're going to find the critical points. We're going to set this equal to 0. 3x squared minus a 12x plus 9 equals 0. And this factors out to be a 3x minus 3 times an x minus 3 equals 0. And so we can set each part equal to 0 and solve. So 3x minus 3 equals 0, x minus 3 equals 0. Hopefully you know how to do this now. Add a 3 to both sides, divided by 3, and x equals a 1. Add a 3 to both sides, and x equals a positive 3. And so now we have our critical points. We have to do our first derivative test here at 1 and 3. We make our lovely little chart. Put values 1 and 3 here. And we're going to plug values into our derivative and see if they're positive or negative. So I have found already f prime of 0 for you. And f prime of 0 came out to be a 9. That's a pretty easy one. But I just care that it's positive, and therefore my function is increasing. Between 1 and 3, I picked f prime of 2. I picked 2 as the value. Plug that into my derivative, and I got a negative 3 value. It's negative, that's what I care about, and it's decreasing. Lastly, I picked a value larger than 3, so I picked 4. So f prime of 4 here goes in, and I get a positive 9. Again, it's again positive, what I care about, and we're increasing here. So if my original function is increasing, then decreasing, we have what we call a relative max there. Then if the function is decreasing, then increasing, we have a relative minimum there. Okay. So we can say we have a relative minimum at the x value of 3, and I plug that into my original function and get the y value of 1. And we have a relative maximum. x value of 1 goes in. I plug that into my original function to get the y value, and I got a 5. And so my final answer here is we have a relative minimum at 3, 1, and a relative maximum at 1, 5. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math.